Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain a numerical on user datagram protocol. The numerical is the following is a dump of a UDP header in hexadecimal format CB84000D001 D C 001C. In the given hexadecimal dump, there are 16 hexadecimal digits. And we are asked to determine the answers for the following questions. What is the source port number? What is the destination port number? What is the total length of the user datagram? What is the length of the data? Is the packet directed from a client to a server or vice versa? And what is the client process? Now there are some steps to be followed to solve such examples. In first step, we have to write the given hexadecimal dump and identify the fields of UDP header. The UDP header has got four fields each of 16 bits. The first field is source port number. The second field is destination port number. The third field is total length field which is the length of the UDP header plus the data. And the fourth field is a checksum field which is used to verify the integrity of the header as well as the data but this checksum field is optional in UDP. Now the given hexadecimal dump is arranged in four chunks each having four hexadecimal digits and each hexadecimal digit covering four bits therefore each hexadecimal chunk will cover 16 bits so that we can identify the fields of the UDP header. Now the first chunk of four hexadecimal digits is CB84. It corresponds to the source port number, 16 bit source port number. The second chunk of hexadecimal digits is 000D which corresponds to the destination port number in the UDP header. The third chunk of hexadecimal digits is 001C which corresponds to the total length field of UDP header. This total length is 001C which is inclusive of the header length and the data length. And the fourth chunk of hexadecimal digits is 001C which corresponds to the checksum field of the UDP header. Now these port numbers are always in decimal format port number is 16 bit so minimum value of the port number is 0 and maximum value of the port number is 65535 in decimal. Now second step is to convert the hexadecimal values to decimal because the port numbers are in decimal the total length field will be in bytes and the checksum will be in decimal. Now the first chunk of hexadecimal digits is CB84 corresponding to the source port number each hexadecimal digit is represented with the help of 4 bits. So C in binary is written as 1100. B hexadecimal in binary is written as 1011. Hexadecimal 8 is written in binary as 1000. Hexadecimal 4 in binary is written as 0100. The second chunk of hexadecimal digits is 000D corresponding to the destination port number. 0 in hex is written in binary as 0000. Second zero in hexadecimal is written as 0000 in binary. The third hexadecimal digit 0 in binary is written as 0000. And the fourth hexadecimal digit D in binary is written as 1101. The third chunk of hexadecimal digits is 001C. Converted to binary, it becomes 0000, 0000, 0001 corresponding to one hexadecimal digit and 1100 corresponding to hexadecimal C. Now we need to convert all these hexadecimal digits in decimal. So first of all we have converted the hexadecimal digits in binary and now we are going to convert it to decimal. So CB84 in binary is 1100 1110 Now the corresponding binary weights are 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 7, plus 2 raised to 8, plus 2 raised to 9, plus 2 raised to 11, plus 2 raised to 14, plus 2 raised to 15. So CB84 will be 23768 plus 16384 
plus 2048 plus 512 plus 256 plus 128 plus 4 which is equal to 520 sorry 52100 in decimal. So the source port number is 520, 52100 in decimal. Now the second value 000D in hexadecimal in binary is written as 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 1101. Its corresponding binary weights will be 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 3 plus zeros. So it is equal to 2 raised uh, to 3 is uh, 8, 8 plus 4 plus 1 that is 13 in decimal. So the destination port number is 13. And the third chunk of hexadecimal digits is 001C converted to binary as 0000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 Its binary weights are 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 4 that is 16 plus 8 plus 4 equal to 28 decimal. So here we got the conversion of all the fields. The last field is not calculated because it is a, just the repetition of the third chunk. The third chunk and the fourth hexadecimal chunk given in the example is the same. So the checksum field calculation is not repeated here because it is similar to the third chunk of hexadecimal digits. Now the source port number is 52100 in decimal. The destination port number is 13 decimal. And the total length field is 28 decimal that is 28 bytes. Now third step is to answer the asked questions. Now in the first question it was asked us to determine the source port number. So source port number is determined in the previous slide as 52100 in decimal. Now this 52100 port number lies in the range from 49152265535 which are the ephemeral port numbers also called as private port numbers or temporary port numbers which are temporarily allocated to the client machines always. So your source port uh, source process is the client process because its port number is an ephemeral port number and the destination port number is 13 in decimal which lies in the range of well known port numbers from 0 to 1023 and this well known port number is for a daytime process. So here the destination is a server process and thus the information is transmitted from the client to the server because the source process is a client process and the server process is a destination process. This destination is a server process and thus the information is transmitted or packet is sent from client to the server. Now total length of the user datagram is given as 28 decimal is calculated is calculated as 28 decimal is equal to 28 bytes. That means the length of the header plus the data is 28 bytes. And we know that the header of UDP covers 8 bytes. 8 bytes. The fixed size of UDP header is 8 bytes. Now if the total length is 28 bytes, then length of data can be calculated as the total length minus the length of the header. And total length is 28 bytes in this example. So 28 bytes minus the 8 bytes of header is equal to 20 bytes. So length of data carried in the UDP datagram is 20 bytes. Now um, this question is already answered here. The destination port number is 13 which is the well known port number. The packet is thus sent from client to the server because client process is, there and, uh, client process is getting an ephemeral port number here. And the information is sent from source to destination where the source process is the uh, client process having ephemeral port number and the destination process is the server process having the well known port number and thus the information is sent from client to the server. And in the last question we are asked to find out what is the client process. The client process is a daytime process. It is getting services from the daytime server. So here the example is complete. Thank you.